Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to continue with the Disney Princess Glam and Gore versions. I'm doing Sleeping Beauty today, so starting off, I'm just going to start by losing the primer that I literally just had. Okay, so I'm going in with the No Problem primer and I'm just applying that all over my face. And then to prime my lids, I'm going in with the Smashbox 24 hour shadow primer. And then I'm just going to use the Colab foundation. I'm also going to go in with the Colab concealer and apply that under my eyes, to my nose, my forehead, and a little bit on my chin. And then because I like a white base before I add my eyeshadows, I'm going to go in with this LA Colors white eyeshadow cream pencil and I'm just going to apply that to my lids and use my finger to blend it out. And then to set that, I'm just going to go in with a very light pink matte eyeshadow, take it onto a fluffy brush and just blend it into my crease and basically all over where I put that white. And then once that's done, I'm just going to go into the e.l.f. X J Kissa palette. And I'm going to go in with the purple shade and just take that into my actual crease and just blend that out. And then for the lid, I'm going in with the shimmery light purple shade in that same palette. This is probably my favorite color in the entire palette. So I'm going in and I'm just applying that to the inner half of my lid. And then to darken up that crease a little bit more, I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes and I'm just blending that into my crease. And then I'm just gonna use the Sunset Sky Palette from XNO Cosmetics and I'm just going to darken up that crease even more. Then going in with that same palette, I'm just gonna take this color and put it on my brow bone. Then just using a black liner, I'm just going to line my upper and lower water lines. And then I'm going in with this um, LA Colors brow pencil and just filling in my brows just to give them a little bit more definition. And then going in with the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer, I'm just going to take that into the contour areas of my face. I'm going back into that J Kissa palette. Using the highlight shade, I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks, a little on my nose, and my cupid's bow. And then for blush, I'm using the Wander Beauty. Then I'm just going to take a black liquid liner and create a wing. I'm also going to go in with the Lorac Mascara and I'm going to coat my lashes. And then once that's done, I'm going in with some Ardell lashes and I'm just going to apply those. And then finally, I'm just going to go in with some Mary Kay lipstick and apply that all over my lips. And I don't know the actual name of this lipstick. I've had it forever and the name has worn off the tube. And then to lighten up my lips a little bit more, I'm going back in with that Wander Beauty palette and just adding that color to the center of my bottom lip and then rubbing my lips together. To sketch out my dress, I'm going in with a brow pencil, also creating her necklace, her dress, uh, fake cleavage. And then I'm just going to map out where I want to cut off my shoulders. So where I'm going to be filling in the black to make it look like my shoulders are smaller than they are. And then before I go and fill everything in with paint, I'm going back into that pretty vulgar bronzer and I'm just going to take that onto a fluffy brush and apply that around everything to create the shadow. Then to darken up that shadow just a little bit closest to the line, I'm going in with the Cover FX palette. I'm going in with this dark contour shade and I'm just going to apply that on a thinner brush 
really close to the lines that I've created to make it look like the shadow is darkest, closest to everything that I've drawn in on my chest. And then for the paint, I'm going in with my Mehron palette, and I'm just going to start with using the white shade and apply that to the top section of my dress. And I couldn't see anything, so I had to put my glasses on for this. And then to fill in the rest of the dress, I'm going back into that Mehron palette and I'm using the dark pink shade. I'm just going to take this and apply it directly under where I put that white shadow. So once I have that top little bit done, I'm going in with the light pink shade from the Mehron palette and I'm just going to apply that to the rest of my dress and then blend it up into the other pink. To kind of merge those colors together. And then once I have that done, I'm just going to use the gold body paint from the Mehron palette and I'm just going to fill in the entire necklace area. And then using a black body paint from Global Body Art, I'm just going to use that and fill in the sections on my shoulders that I want to be negative space. And this is just going to make my shoulders look a little bit smaller so that the dress looks like it's popping off my skin a bit. And then going back in with that Sunset Sky palette using this maroon shade, I'm just going to take that onto a thin brush and just put it as close to the white as I can to create a darker shadow on the pink dress. I also went in and used the Wild Berry Color body paint from the Mehron palette and created those lines on the dress and then continued to shade around those. Then to make the gold pop a little bit more on the necklace, I'm going in with the Aurora Lights palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm just tapping that on with my finger. To outline the necklace, I'm using the dark brown body paint from the Mehron palette. And then I'm just going to apply a blonde wig and a crown that I made out of some cardstock. For the gore part of this, I've already made my scales. Um, if you guys want to see how I make the scales, just let me know in the comments below and I will make a separate video for that. So then I'm just going in and I'm trimming up the edges to all of those little prosthetics. The part that I made for my face, I actually molded that onto my face cast. And then to apply these, because I didn't want to put latex that close to my eye, I'm going in with this lash glue. I got this in one of the cheap lashes that I got probably from the dollar store. I don't ever use this glue. I always just keep it in a container and then I use it as adhesive. So I'm just putting that closest to my eye. And then I'm going in with the latex and just patting that on. To the rest of the area where I want to stick that prosthetic. And then using a q-tip I'm going to go back in and add some latex around the edges to blend that out just a little bit more. And then I'm just going to take the other two scale pieces that I've made and kind of map out where I want them on my chest. Once I figure out where I want to place them and trimmed up the edges, I'm just going to go in with my finger and add some latex to the back of the prosthetic, let it dry for about a minute, and then press it to my skin. And I'm going to repeat the same steps that I did for my face, just pressing it down and then using the Q-tip to put some latex around the edges. And then I'm just going in with my finger and some foundation and I'm just blending out those edges so that it kind of matches my skin a little bit. And then I'm going in with that same black body paint that I used to create the illusion on my shoulders. And I'm just taking that in between all of the scales and around the outside edge or inside edge of the actual scale sections. And then to fill in all the scales, I'm just taking a watered down brush and that wild berry shade from the Mehron palette, and I'm just filling in basically the entire scale section. And then going back in with that J Kissa palette and the red shade, I'm just taking that 
and applying that to the crease on the side above the dragon scales. I'm also going to be taking the green from that same palette and patting it onto my lid. I'm also going to take that very pretty shimmery purple shade on my finger and just add it as the highlights on all of the scales. Then to darken up between the scales, I'm going back in with foil eyes and I'm using this dark gray shade and I'm just putting that in between all of the scales. And then to add a darker section on the scales, I'm going in with this purple shade and just adding it to the bottom half of all of the scales. Once I have that done, I'm going in with the dark red body paint from Global Body Art and I'm just going to take that and put it on the inside edges of each one of those scaled prosthetics. I'm also going to use it on my finger and pat it around the edges. Some of my edges for my chest prosthetics didn't blend out quite right. I trimmed them up just a little bit too much. And then I've just applied the wig and crown again. And then I'm going in and I'm adding a contact to that one eye, adding a horn, and then finishing it off with some fake blood. And that's it. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to turn on those notifications so that you get an update, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.